Hi, I'm Tom Shu, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a photo collage. This is the short version. Okay, first thing we're going to do is start with a new document. Okay, it's going to be a 16 by 20 at 300 DPI for print. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, and then we're going to fill this bottom layer with gray so we can see what's going on. To do a fill, shift backspace or shift delete on a Mac, and we'll just go to 50% gray. Click OK, so that filled that in. We'll select this next layer. If your rulers aren't there, hit Control R or Command R, and that will bring your rulers up, and then just drag in a guide. Holding the Shift key, it's going to let us get to 50%. We want to be a half inch. That's what that 500 was in the hood. And when you get that red marching ant, you know you're directly on the middle of that. So we're going to do the same thing. Shift Backspace or Shift Delete, except that this time we're going to fill with white. So we're going to deselect by Control D or Command D, and then we're going to Control J to duplicate this layer three times. One, two, three, actually just two times, and that's Control J or Command J on the Mac. Grab your Move tool, drag one over, holding the Shift key to keep it constrained, and just drop it. Let's bring that again. Just bring it over to this side, stop it right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select all three, and we're going to evenly disperse these guys. So we're going to click here, and that will bring them out. This is a line, and this is kind of uh, distribute, okay? So now that we have all those, we hold the shift key, hit this folder icon, and that will create a group. We're going to drag another one of these guides down, stopping at a half of an inch. And we're just going to grab our marquee selection, and we'll get those red marching ants again. And we're going to fill this one with white, too. Shift backspace, shift delete on Mac. Oh, it's telling me we need to make a new layer. No problem. Shift backspace, shift delete, create white. Control to deselect. That's control D. Now control J, command J two times to duplicate it. Drag it down to the bottom. And then we'll select all three with the holding down the shift key. And we'll distribute these vertically. We're going to hold the shift key, hit that folder icon. Now we want to merge all this together to put it on one layer. So right click and say merge layers. Or you can do control E or command E as in Edward. Now we want to add some images. That's pretty simple. With all of your images loaded, you right click in whatever you're in Bridge or Lightroom and say edit in Photoshop as layers. Okay, it'll bring it into one document. Shift select them all. Holding the shift key down, drag them up on top of the new document. It'll open it for you and then back it down on top of it and let go. It'll populate the new document with all of your images. But you see they're on top of our frame. So we need to take our frame, which says group 2, and just drag it to the top. Now the frame's on top. Now it's a simple matter of free transform. Grab our first one here. First of all, let's hide them all. We'll select this bottom one and control T or command T to free transform and just size it to fit your square. Okay, don't worry about the overlap. You can delete whatever you want. So it's control Z because I wanted to uh, make that fit a little better here. Okay, Maybe a little bit more. And a little bit more. This one's kind of tricky because it's kind of a tight fit. So we're going to hit enter there. We lock that one in. We'll select the next one. Okay. Grab our arrow tool. Ooh. Get on the right layer now. Arrow tool to move it. We'll just set that one right there. Control T or Command T to free transform. Bring it up a little bit. Now you notice this one's overlapping a little bit, so we'll just grab our marquee tool and that little tail that's hanging over, just hover around it and hit the delete key. It's that simple. Control D to deselect. We'll turn on the next one. Free transform. Control T, Command T. Get it where you want it. And then just size it accordingly. And bump it up just a little bit here. Enter. And the last one probably will be on top. Control T, Command T. Oh, hit enter. We got the wrong layer selected. Control T. Size this one to fit the way we like. 
And there you have it, your photo collage. However, you might want to put something on this frame to make it look like it has more depth to it, like a mat. So come up to this mat, double click it. This will give your layer styles. One way you can do it is with a stroke. Okay. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. You see how that stroke creates a bevel in there? That would be one way to do it. Another way to do it is with your outer glow. Change this to multiply and change this to black. And you can change the spread and the size of this the way you want. And then you can just drag the opacity down. And it just gives it some depth to that frame. Okay, Pete Townsend is where I learned this from. This is the uh, the NAP, uh, National Association of Photoshop Professionals. Those guys are really good at what they do. And this is just one of the things I picked up from them. So if you don't have a subscription to NAP, you might want to check it out. Or you can just keep hanging out on my blog and I can show you what I know. So I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. And until next time, we'll see you soon.